All right, so I've been excited to get to the next part of Outer Banks. I don't wanna stop at the first episode of season two. We just saw a little bit of what's going on. They're talking about marriage already. Who knows what's gonna happen? I'm gonna skip episode two because people are telling me episode three is that like hot spot, that sweet spot, baby. So without further ado, why don't we get into, wait a second, holy crap. I forgot to tell you about my new online dating class. It is. Oh, baby, it will change your lives. <laughs> so ask yourself a question right now. Do you get frustrated with online dating? I know you do because I did. So many of my clients did, my customers did, all of my friends did, and I was able to help them with one change. Just one change enabled everybody that I helped to only get on dates with people that they're actually attracted to. And I have a free class, once again, and that free online dating class, you can get in the link in the description. You don't have to put your name in, you don't have to put your email, just click the button below and the class will begin. But let's watch it after this video, shall we? Let's get to episode three, Outer Banks season. Dooch. Stay on task, that's why I love you, Pope. <clears throat> What pope are you going to be today? I'm good. I'm going to try to focus. Good pope. Boring pope. I'll take that. <laughs> Do tricks now. Roll over, boy. <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a fish. I'm trying to catch a fish. <laughs> okay, those two definitely are weird as hell. And now I'm starting to see why everybody wants JJ and Kiara together and is shipping them, is putting them in a little relashy relation. And the reason why is because I'm seeing the chemistry that they have as the same chemistry that real life Kiara, Madison Bailey has with her partner, Mariah. If you saw in the Mariah and Madison video, which you could click right there or wherever, that, right there, yeah, right there. To watch, you'll see that type of weird chemistry they have. It's just so goofy and fun. And it's kind of reminds me almost as the opposite of what Madeline Klein and Chase Stokes have, which is more of the introverted chemistry. It's kind of like the introverted artist kind of talking together calmly by themselves with a little puppy ah, chemistry. And then you have, if you saw the Mariah and Madison video, you saw them, they're a lot more extroverted. They're a lot more goofy and weird and playful. And that's where their chemistry is. And I'm seeing that right here with Kiara and JJ. And it's like, the hell? Like, <laughs> did JJ just act like a puppy getting weed? <laughs> and it's like, I'll do tricks for you. And she's like, here's the weed or whatever. It was weird and I like that kind of chemistry as well. I like all kinds of chemistry, but this is what I relate to the most too. That kind of really weird connection you have with somebody that you know you don't have with anybody else. Nobody could be as weird as you and that person. And I feel that from JJ and Kiara right now and I'm loving it and I hope to see more. And ah, you know, I think you guys are right. I think we're going to see, and if it doesn't happen in this season yet, we're going to see some sort of relationship between them, something, even a fling, who knows? Look for some deserted island to shell up on. And then what? More running? Sir. Look, I know you don't trust the cops, but you're innocent. I think we should go home. Tobiax. Yes. What about Ward? What about Ward? He's the one who should be running, not us. Yes. He said he would tell the truth if we came back. I can confront him. Okay, but it's not about you confronting him. He's completely untrustworthy. Sure, but I'm your alibi. Trust me. Okay, so I want you to realize that when Sarah and John, and I'm not gonna call him John B because you know who I'm talking about, when they have discussions, it's never getting to a place where they're arguing with each other, where they're mad at each other, where they're disrespecting each other, even though they're working through disagreements, even though there's something that they're trying to figure out and they may not agree completely about what they're trying to work out, but they're never fighting. Yes, they may get impassioned and say, oh, but you, why don't you, why don't, uh, but it's never getting to a point 
where it's disrespectful ever. And I want you to notice what they're doing. They're always, always on each other's side. They're never going, you do this and it's not for me. You do this and this is not what I want. Uh, uh. They're always working on each other's side. This is the secret to a good relationship. They're always on each other's team, no matter what. Even if they disagree, they have discussions where they're talking about how can we do this together? And they're stating their points. They're not being like really cold and saying like, well, I think this. And this is, I'm not saying you don't have to get expressive and passionate about what you want to say, but it's never in a place where you're going, don't you know anything? Like, how don't you realize this? Saying it in a negative way, putting them down, disrespecting them. Never, I've never ever seen it so far in all of the episodes that I've seen in Outer Banks. And I probably never will. What they're showing in this relationship between Sarah and John just John, is that this is a pure love between these two. And why do they wanna show that? Because it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet thing. It's two opposing sides and they fall in love with each other and the Romeo and Juliet love was a pure love. And that's kind of what they're working to portray with these two as well. And they're doing a great job because it doesn't come off cheesy. That whole Romeo and Juliet thing where they both kind of committed suicide, Come on, they overdid it a little bit. But with John and Sarah, it feels real. It feels pure in a way that doesn't come off like, come on guys, you guys are like way too obsessed with each other. You could tell that they really, really love each other, but it's not overdone, it, sh it looks real. And to me, that's a great way to show what a real relationship should be like and to teach the viewers, oh wait, I could be in a relationship where I'm on the same team as my partner and we're never getting angry at each other. We're never disrespecting each other. Sounds pretty good. So aside from all the other positive things about John B and Sarah, oh shit, I said it, is the biggest part that I want you to take and that I hope you do take is that when you're in a relationship with somebody, you're always on the same team and you're always working to figure out something together. It's never you against them or them against you. <laughs> Hey, stop! Stop! No! 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 Hey, clear, clear. Keep... Go! Get out of here! Hey, stop! Get back here! I'm gonna shoot! Stop! Help me! <laughs> John B's face was so funny right there. He went. <laughs> I think he was like, I feel like we should have helped her too, right? <laughs> she kind of just saved our lives and we kind of just boated away. Oh, <laughs> that face. <laughs> She's literally probably dead right now. Like the cop is literally just shooting at whoever he sees and she's just in the water somewhere. Kind of come up any, she's, I feel like we should have saved her. <laughs> no turning back now. Pogues forever. <laughs> God, what a scene. So, they're messing with us. The writers are starting to mess with us a little bit. What just happened? I think I know what happened. I think that kiss was a friend kiss, but does Pope think that was a friend kiss? I don't think so. Did JJ think that was a friend kiss? I do not think so. I think Kiara, she looked back. If you look, she looked back at JJ. He had his hat on his head, right? She thought, oh, he's not looking. Kissed him on, kissed Pope on the cheek, said goodnight. Pope's like this. And what is JJ like? This, I think, 
And listen, I think most of you have probably watched the whole second season already, but I think this is gonna start a love triangle. Who knows? My personal opinion is that was a friend kiss based on the last scene when JJ was talking up Pope to Kiara saying like, this person cares so much about us and that's what a Pogue really is. And I think she saw that and saw the value of what Pogues are when she was having this existential crisis about, ah, oh, do I go to school? Do I stay? a Pogue? Where am I in this life? And then she saw that pure goodness in Pope and maybe not felt attracted to him, but felt a love for him. And I think that love carried over into when they were going to sleep and then she wanted to kiss him on the cheek to show that affection in a loving way. That's just my assumption. I'm not saying that's true. I'm excited to see what happens actually. Psst. You know what I was thinking? What's that? Let's get married. Don't, don't we need like a, like a preacher or something? They keep their running jokes going. It's definitely a half joke. Like they definitely still feel that for each other, but it's like John B started the season with that, right? And now Sarah is continuing it, that running joke. And it's kind of keeping the spirits up. That's what they're doing with each other. They are doing this running joke to keep their spirits up and feel good about each other and feel good about situations. Throughout seriousness, throughout this entire show, they're still able to keep a light side to everything by their chemistry. Part of the reason why they're in this together is because they love each other. So that do us part. You make us your bride. Can we get a dog? Okay, sir. Let's just get home first. How about that? Let's get a dog. Okay. And see, the great thing is, is they both have that sense of humor. And like I said, now it's kind of Sarah's turn to keep John B's spirit up, right? So at first it was more of John B keeping Sarah's spirit up and now it's flipped. That's a good relationship where they're both giving to each other equally. They both have value to give to each other. In John and Sarah's example, they both have that same sense of humor where they could both make each other feel really good. If you look at a relationship that you've had that was positive in the past, you may notice that you have some value that you were always able to give to your partner and your partner was able to reciprocate equally, maybe in a different way, maybe in the same way, maybe slightly different differently. This is what I want you to look at. Also what the show is cleverly doing is it's planting that idea of them getting married. So maybe in the third season, maybe in the fourth season, they will actually get married and it's something that you'll be waiting for. Smart writers. So this is the beginning of a new format for my channel. I am going to be focusing on the Outer Banks each week, a new episode from season two. So I want you to keep following. And you know what? Let's have a specific day. Let's make the day, let's make the day Tuesday. Every day for the next, let's say two months, we're gonna focus on the Outer Banks on Tuesdays. So what I want you to do is click down below, hit subscribe, make sure that all notifications are clicked. If you have only some notifications or none notifications, then you're not gonna get any notifications. Make sure all notifications are clicked when you subscribe and then you will get updated every week for a new Outer Banks analysis. I'm excited for this guys. And I love that I now have kind of like a little Outer Banks family community that you guys are posting down in the comments below. We could chat with each other. We could talk about what's going on. We could talk about the relationship that we see between JJ, Kiara, and oh, maybe even Pope kind of coming together and seeing how Madeline and Chase keep, wait, Madeline and Chase, no, John and Sarah, we could see how that relationship grows, where it goes. And I even heard, and I don't wanna give a spoiler alert, but somebody gave it to me. I even heard that they broke up during this season. So I'm really interested in seeing that. Also, I don't wanna do every episode, like how many episodes, there's 10 episodes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do every episode. This was episode three of season two. What should the next episode be? Should it be four? Or is there a better episode for episode five? These are the questions that I have for thee. And now you could do something also for thee, which is click down, <laughs> 
<laughs> click the link in the description for that online dating class that I talked about earlier. The thing that's been changing so many people's lives. You could get it right now. Just click the button, class begins. It's really a fun thing for you. For yeah. Here's the weed or whatever.